Some people take the straight path in life. But at Arizona State University, we respect your twists and turns. They make our online students more driven to excel in their professional lives. That's why our personalized suite of services empowers you with innovative resources and staff that sticks with you. Make your next turn with one of our 300-plus programs at ASU, a top 10 university for online bachelor's programs. Tap to learn more or visit us at asuonline.asu.edu. You're walking, shopping, or on your favorite trail. You get that feeling somebody's coming up on you. What do you do to be prepared in today's world? Hi, I'm Holly Lees. I'm the founder of Warrior Defenders. As a certified tactical self-defense instructor, I'm specializing in women's self-defense. All women of all ages have the ability to learn how to defend themselves effectively. With technical drills to build their survival skills, you can be your own hero. Classes and private seminars are available. Learn today to have a safer tomorrow. WarriorDefenders.com This is Margie from Connecting Hearts Network. I'd like you to take just a moment and listen to Linda Kirkpatrick explain to you what Family Patterns Matters is all about. Family Patterns Matter works with youth and their families to help overcome barriers that prevent their success. We meet twice a month with mentoring, tutoring, teaching life skills, resilience, gratitude, and kindness. We also bring music and art therapy. Please visit our website at www.familypatternsmatter.org. Hello. I'm Pina Payne with Contour Mortgage, and we're so excited. We have just moved to this new company, and we are located at 560 Noonan Crossing Bypass in Noonan next to Art and Jake's, and we have some great products. Our interest rates are better than any other companies, and we also have some great products with the for the VA. Um, we can do a better deal for you with fees than any other company. We have a lot of different kind of programs. Shopping for insurance doesn't have to be stressful. I'm Christy, owner of Ellsworth Insurance, located here in Newton, Georgia. We're an independent agency with access to multiple carriers for home, auto, life, health, and commercial insurance. We're your one-stop shop for your insurance needs. Visit our website at www.insurewithellsworth.com. Or call the office at 770-755-7053 to schedule an appointment. We look forward to meeting you soon. Moving is a big decision. Selling or buying a home in any market, but especially today's, can raise a lot of questions. Hi, I'm Amy with Killingsworth Realty. My husband Todd and I serve the Coweta and local area. Our purpose at our first meeting is to learn your goals, answer questions, and provide resources so that you can make the best decision for you and your family. Find us online at killingsworthrealty.com or call 678-525-0047 to schedule a free consultation today to discuss your real estate needs. You don't have to do this alone. The views and opinions of this show and program are not the views and opinions of this station, its management, or its clientele. It's now time for Heart to Heart Radio, presented by Connecting Hearts Network. Connecting women to one another and resources. Now here's your host, Margie Conway. Hello, this is Linda Kirkpatrick with Heart to Heart Radio. I'm taking the place of Margie Conway with Connecting Hearts and speaking with Quinn Roscoe, who is going to tell us her life story, which is incredible. And I also wanted to insert that Family Patterns Matter is going to have a children's fashion show on September 17th at Greenville Street Park. If you want more information, please contact me at 404-944-8024. And before we get started, I want to tell you how I met Quinn. We were at a local coffee shop. She was bringing some of her incredible baked goods, and she was with a a mutual friend of ours and that's how we met and we became friends after that by just running into each other yeah. but she has an incredible story and I'm going to let her begin okay. hi I'm Quinn Roscoe can you hear me hi I'm Quinn Roscoe and a lot of people may know especially those in Granville at Red's Grub Shack um 
I make the baked goods. I'm Quindora's box and I do all kind of cakes and pies and brownies and other little tasty treats. And I'm not originally from Georgia, but I'm originally from Nashville, Tennessee. And when we got married, we moved to Cartersville and to tell you the truth, it all started with $50 and a three-drawer plastic cart, and I used to make jewelry, and that's how it all got started. And then we moved here to Moreland, and my honey made a um, strawberry tequila cake, and I was like, this is good. So I'm like, so maybe I can, you know, make some cakes or something. So it, it pretty much started from there. It it. I hit I hit my rough spots and you know I hit my good spots and my good days and bad days just like any other business and my baked goods were being sold in um in a coffee shop and something happened to that coffee shop and now my baked goods are being sold out of Red's Grub Shack and I still make um other cakes for you know for people if you want a birthday cake or wedding cake or anything so i'm just baking just i'm the cake lady <laughs> what made you decide to change to bake goods instead of the jewelry oh i still do jewelry ah okay. i got a pair on right now well i thought I those, <laughs> those were yeah yours but i wasn't sure and then tell me a little bit about you grew up in tennessee is that what you said mm -hmm. i was born and raised in nashville okay and how was that oh my god it was it was fun. I had a good growing up, but as the years went by and years and everything started changing, it became, everything became different. It started to not looking like the place I was born and raised in. It, it started, if I can say, it started like closing in. Mm -hmm. And I was like, it's got to be something else out there. Okay. Okay. So I just I just prayed. I was like, God, just give me a sign if it's your will for me to move. And here I am. Okay, and where did you meet your husband? <laughs> <laughs> we met on we met on a motorcycle set. He was in a club in Atlanta, and I was in a club in Nashville. And we just we just met up. And you and you clicked. And we just we just clicked, and we've been together ever since. Okay, then. okay. You don't have any children, or do you have children? I do. I have two grown kids. Okay, they're still in Nashville. They didn't want to move up here to Georgia. Um, but yes, I do. I have two girls, two wonderful girls. Okay, and does your husband basically work with you, or does he work outside uh, the baking company? No, he. Um, he works at another job, but he does help, and I do get some of my ideas from him now. My honey, he can he can cook and bake his tail off too, so but he he helps. But other than that, I'm one of those old school people. I don't want anybody in the kitchen with me mm -hmm. while I'm baking, because if you make one wrong stump, my cake will probably fall. Oh gosh! <laughs> so yeah, so get out of my kitchen. So yeah, but. He can he can cook and bake as well too, but oh. I like being in the kitchen by myself. Okay. <laughs> well, and I know you go to Change Church in Grantville. I do go to Change yeah, Church. Yeah. Tell us a little bit about Change Church and your involvement and. Um, oh my God, that's Change Church. That's home. As soon as I went there, because my first time there, I was invited to a baptism, and everyone was like, "Welcome home." So I went back a little bit after that, maybe a couple of months or so after that because my honey was on the road because he drove trucks then. So we went back to visit, and once again, everybody was like, well, welcome home. And um, so we ended up joining, and I mean, it's, it's a bunch of good people. And there I'm on the praise and worship team. Um, I'm pretty much there every Sunday. Um, I'm involved with a lot of, um, how can I say this? A lot of community stuff mm -hmm. that goes on. And, um, I ride with the Faith Riders. Um, 
Oh my gosh, I could probably just go on and on because it's so much. Well, and I know they have a great um, recovery group there. Mm -hmm. And um, for, you know, if you can explain a little bit about that and how it outreaches into the community and the good that they do, because I know they do a lot of good and they welcome people that have had mm -hmm. some issues in their life, mm -hmm. including drugs and alcoholism, mm -hmm. and just welcome them and help them overcome those addictions in their life. Mm -hmm. Can you expand a little bit on that? It's, um, it's pretty much... It's, it's basically pretty much what you said. We don't turn anybody away. We 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 love on them. We get them help. I mean, it's just, if you're looking, how can I say this? If you're looking for help and love, that would be the place to go. Because a lot of people turn people like that uh -huh. away, but we don't. Well, well that's in, yeah. That's what like, I like about yeah, the church. Yeah, we bring in and treat you like family. You, you family. Yeah, and that's what a lot of uh, people that have been estranged from their family because of their addictions they need that. They need to know that somebody cares about them. And mm -hmm. I believe at Change Church, that's where they get that. They get that love, warm feeling, non-judgmental, and they just welcome you no matter who you are mm -hmm. or where you come from. Mm -hmm. Um, and and. And I've only been there a couple of times. I came there to talk about Family Patterns Matter because we did a motorcycle ride mm -hmm. with them. Yeah. It wasn't a huge one. But, we're but it was still good. Yeah, it was good <laughs> and it was fun. And we're hoping to do that again next mm -hmm. year. Um, talk a little bit about how you plan on expanding your business. Because I know you're thinking about opening up a storefront mm -hmm. so you won't be just taking things to coffee shops and things like that mm -hmm. and and taking orders over the phone you'll be able to have a storefront where people can come and what is your um idea or your dream about what that's going to look like um well i'm still gonna put my stuff in the in the in the other restaurants and coffee shops but my 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 goal and my dream for my storefront is a place where you can still come and get my baked goods. You can come, you can have meetings, you can um, possibly do a sip and paint or if you just want to just come and just sit, if you just want to stop in for a prayer, come in and get your prayer and a cake. There you go. There you go. <laughs> I mean, you know, I, I want it to be, I, I want it to feel like when people walk in, like home, like family, this is, I want, I want you to feel the love when you walk in. What do you envision the inside looking like? Oh gosh. Kind of like a, uh, kind of like a modern day country feel because I want that little that little bell on the door when you open it and close it. Okay. Ring, 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 ring. You know, you hear the little bell. Uh-huh. Yeah. And on the inside, ah, I just want it to be vibrant and smell good and all of that type of good Okay. Stuff. Well, now are you going to have other things other than baked goods or is it just going to be like a bakery with coffee and tea, come in and sit down have a meeting or just relax and like you say even if you just want somebody to say a quick prayer with you say you're having a bad day yeah, bad you day. know Come you can uh, go in and, and say you know what I'm having a bad day and I want a coffee and a piece of cake but would you sit down and pray with me yeah you know I it, as of right now it's gonna be just the um bake goods part and come sit down and who knows it, it may grow into other foods just whatever the Lord has in store for me and where's the location it's in Grantville it's okay. uh oh my gosh I can't think of the address is it on Main Street yeah it's it's all it's it's over the railroad tracks across the street from the coffee shop okay whatever the name of that street is but it's 
It's downtown in Granville. Okay, yeah. okay. Well, I know, um, you know, there's not a lot of traffic in Granville. A lot mm -hmm. of not of a lot of people going through there. Um, so I'm hoping that we can get the information out, not only for your um, great baked goods, but also for the other things that are in Grantville. I know they've done a couple of movies there, but it just seems like when I go down there, there's just not a lot of people. So hopefully with your shop coming there, and if we get it out there on social media, um, are you planning on, I just had an idea, um, <laughs> on maybe having uh, special days like on on. Wednesday, bring your kids and get get a piece of cake for half price for your child, or or anything like that to drive people in. Are you going to have any kind? Oh yeah, I'm I'm always looking for something to bring the people in because I know how I am, so I'm I'm always looking to bring people in. Okay, you know. Because I was thinking, um, you know, we may even do like um, a Family Patterns Matter Kids Day. Come in and let's do some art work. Yeah. You know, something like that to maybe yeah. bring bring other kids in and, and families in. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know what the population is in Grantville. Um, but Moreland is kind of the same way. It's small. You don't know how many people are there. Now, I will say Grantville is growing and it's coming alive because when we first moved to Moreland and we used to go downtown to Grantville as far as passing it, going to church, it was empty like a ghost town. Like yeah. Empty, but it's coming alive. And as long as you tell people about it and you, you make sure it's, everything is good, it's happy, friendly, and all of that stuff, good customer service, because good customer service is, is a must. And good, it's absolutely. Good food and good, I mean, something to enjoy to bring stuff alive. People will definitely come. Well, you know, and I, I saw that there was a pottery shop down there. It is. And my husband does pottery, and um, I said, you want to go visit it? And that's something else that could possibly draw, mm -hmm. you know, customers to you, you know, on the days that they are meeting. And I, I'm not sure what they are, and I don't know how many people she has come. But, you know, if we could kind of figure that out, um, you know, and even the school, you know, mm -hmm. get the information out there to the families and, and do things like that. But, um I just, you know, I just know that Family Patterns Matter likes to partner mm -hmm. with people in the community mm -hmm. because we know by partnering with people in the community that that's how we grow. We grow yeah. what we do, yeah. and I also believe that um, having that Christian attitude and listening to what God says to us and showing our gratitude for mm -hmm. what he does for us is so important. I was in church yesterday, and I actually didn't think about this. Mm -hmm. And I'm not meaning to, not yesterday, it was Sunday. Mm -hmm. Excuse the <laughs> faux pas there. But he was talking about gratitude, and I believe it was Psalms 40. Mm -hmm. And do we tell God that we're grateful for what we have, or do are we always asking him for stuff? Um, so to me, you know, most of the time I'm asking, you know, uh, God, would you, um, not, not do something for me, but you know, something for maybe someone in my family or, um, guide me or should I say, God, I'm so grateful for what you've done for me. Is there anything else I need to be doing? And, and to me, that was so powerful because, um, I believe that everything I've done my entire life has been God-led, mm -hmm. and I have learned from everything I've done. And I'm sure you feel that same way. I mean, oh, yeah. you yeah. know, every I, step is, I, it's like every every step is worth it. I don't want to miss a step. Whatever it is that He tells me to do, I'm gonna do it. I like I said, I do not want to want to miss. A step. I don't want to rush when people say, "Well, hurry up and do this." And I'm on God's time. Mm -hmm. I mean, so I'm I'm doing what He tells me to do, and I I thank Him. I do ask for things, but for the most part, I thank Him because if it wasn't for Him, I wouldn't none of this would 
would even be right existing. right and you and you're following his path for you with your baked goods mm -hmm. and you know and it will happen when it's supposed to happen and 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 i truly believe that because i've just seen um in my life you know and when i've been discouraged you know i i don't like that feeling and i think okay you know what am i learning from this you know if if something happens um you know I, do, I shouldn't question it, and I should just say, okay, God, you've got it. And that's what I try to do. Sometimes I don't. you got to trust the process. Even sometimes you can't see it, feel it, or hear it, but just trust the process. Yeah. Trust his process. Yeah, and I, th I think a lot of people don't realize that or understand that. You know, they, they it want It took me a minute to get it myself because in the past, I would do a lot of stuff myself on my time and what I wanted to do, and it just didn't work right. Yeah, yeah. Well, it'll fail, yeah. you know. It it'll will fail. And um, even if it's going good for a while, mm -hmm. and you think you're on the right track, something will come, and you'll say, okay, okay. And I, and I know that God brings people into my life for a reason. Mm -hmm. And I'll always call that, well, that was a God moment, you mm -hmm. know. That was a God moment. And, um, you know, we just have to believe in Him. And... <laughs> and and I'm thinking we're going to take a little break and just get a drink of water and okay. we'll be back. All right. This is Margie from Connecting Hearts Network. I'd like you to take just a moment and listen to Linda Kirkpatrick explain to you what Family Patterns Matters is all about. Family Patterns Matter works with youth and their families to help overcome barriers that prevent their success. We meet twice a month with mentoring, tutoring, teaching life skills, resilience, gratitude, and kindness. We also bring music and art therapy. Please visit our website at www.familypatternsmatter.org. Hello, I'm Pina Payne with Contour Mortgage, and we're so excited. We have just moved to this new company, and we are located at 560 Noonan Crossing Bypass in Noonan next to Art & Jake's, and we have some great products. Our interest rates are better than any other companies, and we also have some great products with the for the VA. Um, we can do a better deal for you with fees than any other company. We have a lot of different kind of programs. You're walking shopping or on your favorite trail. You get that feeling somebody's coming up on you. What do you do to be prepared in today's world? Hi, I'm Holly Reese. I'm the founder of Warrior Defenders. As a certified tactical self-defense instructor, I'm specializing in women's self-defense. All women of all ages have the ability to learn how to defend themselves effectively. With technical drills to build their survival skills, you can be your own hero. Classes and private seminars are available. Learn today to have a safer tomorrow. WarriorDefenders.com. Shopping for insurance doesn't have to be stressful. I'm Christy, owner of Ellsworth Insurance, located here in Newton, Georgia. We're an independent agency with access to multiple carriers for home, auto, life, health, and commercial insurance. We're your one-stop shop for your insurance needs. Visit our website at www.insurewithellsworth.com. Or call the office at 770-755-7053 to schedule an appointment. We look forward to meeting you soon. Moving is a big decision. Selling or buying a home in any market, but especially today's, can raise a lot of questions. Hi, I'm Amy with Killingsworth Realty. My husband Todd and I serve the Coweta and local area. Our purpose at our first meeting is to learn your goals, answer questions, and provide resources so that you can make the best decision for you and your family. Find us online at killingsworthrealty.com or call 678-525-0047 to schedule a free consultation today to discuss your real estate needs. You don't have to do this alone.
Welcome back to Heart to Heart Radio, and I'm Linda Kirkpatrick sitting in for Margie Conway with Quinn Roscoe, and what we're going to do is discuss how she began this journey, what made her decide she wanted to do baking these incredible, delicious (laughs) goods. Well, first off, I love food. I love to eat. So, um, (laughs) (laughs) so I like to, I like to, uh, play with different food color and taste and I just get an idea of what a flavor would taste like and I put it together. Whereas if most people would be like, ew, that don't go together. And I'm like, yes, I do. Watch me. And then when I present it to them and let them taste it, they're like, oh my God, this is good. (laughs) So, yeah, so I just, I love food, and I and I know other people love food, and people like stuff that tastes good, and they like different stuff, so that's me. Well, how is your stuff, your cakes, different from other people's cakes? Well, it's made from my heart, and I probably think of stuff to put in there that tastes good, that other people probably wouldn't think of and I don't know it's just it's just something in me <laughs> okay I have two more questions that I think are kind of important mm-hmm. what you know you've talked about you love to eat mm-hmm. and you love to bake and you love to make people happy with your food um, which you do because I know because I tasted <laughs> it um, as a child did you how, how did this start? What what began your journey? Oh my God! My uh. Now I was in the kitchen with my grandma, but it wasn't to learn. It was always to eat something. <laughs> so and and to be honest, I grew up. I didn't have to cook. I was I was spoiled. I wasn't a bratty type of spoiled, but I didn't have to learn how to cook. But I did cook, and once I got out there. In the adult world, I would always call my mom and my grandma to ask, how do I cook something? And my first thing that I actually cooked was I used to make this dough and I used um, ketchup and a slice of cheese and that was my pizza. And my granddaddy, he didn't like pizza, but he always ate my pizzas. And then I started making scrambled egg with crackers. I don't know why I put the crackers in there, but <laughs> it, it went good. <laughs> and it all it all went from there. And then I guess as I got older, because like I said, I didn't have to cook. I had my mama, my uncles, my grandma, and everybody to cook for them. So I didn't have to cook. But I would always call them because I wanted to learn different stuff. And then, you know, certain stuff just came from asking them and then certain stuff comes from trial and error that if you get in the kitchen and you're getting ready to make something and it's a mistake but it but it but the mistake tastes good you're like oh well let me see if I can do that mistake again and there you go your own little dish or cake or whatever so and that's that's how it happened and like I said I like I like taste and I like um color like Give me that ugly piece of cake over there. I don't want that cake with all the decorations and stuff on it because I know that cake is going to taste good. Yeah, I don't want all the, because I'll scrape all of that stuff off. So, yeah. Okay. When you were raising your children that are now grown up, Mm -hmm. what were their favorites and what were their dislikes? Uh, My kids ate everything but now in this world they done became vegans at least one of them has so they say (laughs) but uh, my oldest one she loved my french toast and my um, and my baby girl she loves um, pork chops Okay. and like I said my kids they, they grew up to eat everything but since they got grown they became a vegan and some didn't eat this and some didn't eat that but now my youngest tried the vegan lifestyle and she was like no i love food i'm I'm gonna eat 
Love that pork chop. Yeah, yeah, she, yeah, she <laughs> yeah, she could. Yeah, she couldn't get away from that pork chop. Well, t- okay, okay. Well, tell me, I love French toast. Mm-hmm. Tell me how you make your French toast. I make it different ways. Um, I want to hear all of them. Uh-oh. My <laughs> one of them, I won't tell. Uh-oh. Oh no! But yeah, my, most of my stuff are, are secrets. But now one of them I will tell is just, you know, mix a little egg, sugar, cinnamon, and a little milk, scramble it up, dip your bread in there, and put your butter or whatever you're going to use to fry it, and put it in a skillet, and voila. Well, that's how I make mine, but I want to, okay, here's the deal. (laughs) You will make me your special kind of French toast, please. I love French toast, and I have a son that loves it. And um, you know, I, I'd love to taste yours. Okay. Okay. Now, pork chops. Ooh, pork chops. Uh, you just gotta season it good, and you just gotta like I like all my meat tender and juicy. Yeah. I can't stand dry tough meat. And well, you know, my problem with pork chops is because my mother was old school. And she said, you've got to cook pork all the way through or you're going to get something, trichinomus or something from it, you know. So she, her pork chops were always dry. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's how I grew up. I don't like them dry. Mm-hmm. So do you have a secret to keeping them moist and yummy other than just not cooking them all the way? <laughs> I mean... Cause some stuff just happens you when know. you're in the kitchen. You it's just like, you just know. You just, I mean, yeah, it's one of those things you just know. And I eyeball stuff like I can't. If if you're asking me how to make a meatloaf, I I could probably tell you what what I put in it. But I can't tell you all oh, two teaspoons of this, two cups yeah. of that, two. No, I can I can eyeball it. Yeah. And you know, well, is there a specific seasoning? I mean, like on mine, I just put salt and pepper. Yeah, I do. I put a put a lot of little, a lot of little things in there. Just different. Yeah, just just different. Okay, well, I, I get <laughs> different, that. Different little things in there. You know, yeah, yeah. yeah garlic, salt, seasoned powder. You know, blah yeah, blah I, blah. Yeah, I do a, do a lot of little, little different things. Okay, there. okay. All right, now. I I I get that. I get that. Yes, well, well, I I live very close to her. I live on Earl North Road, which is real close to Borland. Yeah. Okay. Um. I had thought of another question. When do you do you plan out? Because this is something we're thinking of starting with our youth and their families. Do you do a weekly meal plan, or do you just say day to day? This is what I'm going to do. No, I haven't actually done a uh, meal plan for anybody, but if someone needs it or asks, I could throw that on there also. Um, But other than that, it's just cakes and like, especially during holidays, because you know, some people don't feel like cooking like we used to, so Mm -hmm. you can get collard greens, ton of greens, chicken dressing, turkey dressing, sweet potatoes, whatever it is that... You may request that you don't want to cook. So you will do holiday meals if we ask. Mm -hmm. I do holiday meals. Well, that is really good to know because um, I had seven children. And when all of those children left the house and we downsized to where we are now, I don't cook anymore because I felt like I did my due diligence. And I used to love to cook and I used to love to bake. Mm -hmm. So... Now you're going to be my go-to person. <laughs> we we have family dinners because a lot of our kids still live here, and then I, you know, I'll have something specific I'm supposed to make. Mm-hmm. Well, I'll just call Quinn and say, "Hey, I need a sweet potato casserole and green bean casserole, or mm-hmm. pumpkin pies, or whatever else." I will do that. Thank you for sharing that, audience. Remember that because I will be giving you Quinn's information at the end of the show. And okay, now on with 
I got a question for you. Yeah. I want to uh, tell us the most unique baking item, cake, or any dessert that you've ever made for someone, and also the the most unique item you've brought. Two different items together. Like what? So. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I would say the most unique that I've made was my, um, I call them triple threat cookies. Okay. Yeah. Um. <laughs> I don't even know what they are, but it sounds good. <laughs> yeah, my, uh, my triple threat cookies and my... Color Me Crazy Cake, and and I guess you could say my most challenging was taking, like my first, my very first birthday cake that I did, she wanted a lemon cake all the way through, lemon cake, lemon icing, lemon everything. So, I had to take the icing because she wanted it black and orange. So on the inside, you could probably see the yellow cake, mm -hmm. but then on the outside, it was orange and black. So I had to take some lemon ice. It was very challenging to get those colors and especially to get it the right tone because you know, if you under mix it, overly mix it or whatever, the black, it'll look gray and, and then the orange will look something, but I hit it. I hit it perfect right on the mark. That's so, awesome. Yeah. Also, do you get any inspiration from any of the Food Network shows? Do you do you watch any of them, or is this just... Uh, to be honest, I don't. Really? Wow. I don't. <clears throat> we got to get you on Shopped or one of those shows. <laughs> well, I, well, that's exactly Guys what I was going to say. There was, some, there was somebody from Noonan that was on one of those shows a year or so ago, and I don't remember who it was. Yeah. It was one of the... Um, Cake shows. Yeah. yeah, cake. What are the cake shows? Then there was also a chef, and the chef was from Knife and Stone. Yes, and so that would that would be cool. That mm -hmm. would be cool. But now, what inspires you? And you may have told us this to do what you do. Like, if you give me a, if you say you want a cake made, um, my mind has already started running. What flavor? What color? What decorations? What what else? So my mind is already going. As soon as you say you want a cake, my mind is already going. But the inspiration, I, you know, I guess you could say the inspiration to keep going is when I see people smile while they're eating it. And to just really love something that you made, uh -huh. and then also I like to be, I like to be creative. Uh -huh. So if you say, if you tell me I'm I'm gonna make the cake that you asked me to make, but if you say oh make me this flavor, but be creative, just whatever, I'm like yes, I get to be creative. So yeah. Okay. If if um if if I said to you, I just want you to make me something. And I want you to tell me right now, I, w I would like a cake for um, my son who just broke both of his wrists and can't cook anything anymore and he loved to cook. Is there something right now that you could think of? That he could eat? Well, that you would make to make him feel good. I will make him his own personal six inch bunt size cake. Okay. Do you know what flavor? Whatever flavor you want. Okay, and how would you decorate it? Um, if you want a decoration, I give you a decoration, but if you just want a cake with glaze or fully frosted, I'll do that. Or if you just want a plain cake with nothing on it, I can do that also. Okay. Okay. So you would take what what kind of what I would say and you would design it or you would make it say, you know. Mhm. Mm Okay, okay. Yep. <laughs> there was another.
This is Margie from Connecting Hearts Network. I'd like you to take just a moment and listen to Linda Kirkpatrick explain to you what Family Patterns Matters is all about. Family Patterns Matter works with youth and their families to help overcome barriers that prevent their success. We meet twice a month with mentoring, tutoring, teaching life skills, resilience, gratitude, and kindness. We also bring music and art therapy. Please visit our website at www.familypatternsmatter.org. Moving is a big decision. Selling or buying a home in any market, but especially today's, can raise a lot of questions. Hi, I'm Amy with Killingsworth Realty. My husband Todd and I serve the Coweta and local area. Our purpose at our first meeting is to learn your goals, answer questions, and provide resources so that you can make the best decision for you and your family. Find us online at killingsworthrealty.com or call 678-525-0047 to schedule a free consultation today to discuss your real estate needs. You don't have to do this alone. Shopping for insurance doesn't have to be stressful. I'm Christy, owner of Ellsworth Insurance, located here in Noonan, Georgia. We're an independent agency with access to multiple carriers for home, auto, life, health, and commercial insurance. We're your one-stop shop for your insurance needs. Visit our website at www.insurewithellsworth.com or call the office at 770-755-7053 to schedule an appointment. We look forward to meeting you soon. Hello, I'm Pina Payne with Contour Mortgage, and we're so excited we have just moved to this new company. And we are located at 560 Noonan Crossing Bypass in Noonan next to Art and Jake's. And we have some great products. Our interest rates are better than any other companies. And we also have some great products with the, for the VA. Um, we can do a better deal for you with fees than any other company. We have a lot of different kind of programs. You're walking, shopping, or on your favorite trail. You get that feeling somebody's coming up on you. What do you do to be prepared in today's world? Hi, I'm Holly Reese. I'm the founder of Warrior Defenders. As a certified tactical self-defense instructor, I'm specializing in women's self-defense. All women of all ages have the ability to learn how to defend themselves effectively. With technical drills to build their survival skills, you can be your own hero. Classes and private seminars are available. Learn today to have a safer tomorrow. WarriorDefenders.com Radio with Linda Kirkpatrick with Family Patterns Matter sitting in for Margie Conway who is at home with a bad tooth. But thank you, Margie. And here she got is a yeah, she had a toothache, oh. and that's okay because toothaches are bad. But here I am sitting in for, her and I'm <laughs> loving it, and I'm having fun with Quinn Roscoe who has. Quindora's Box, and it's on Facebook, mm -hmm. and she is the owner, and we're going to go ahead and talk to her and ask her, what, what is, what do you consider your favorite cake, and then we'll move on. My favorite cake, what mm. I like, is yellow cake with chocolate icing. Well, boy, that's plain and simple. <laughs> I know. I'm, I'm, a, I'm, I'm really, I'm really a simple person, and I love chocolate chip cookies and sweet potato pie, and Solid. yeah, and, <laughs> and you know, and that's, those are my for me. Those are my favorite. That's what you bake for you. To. I mean, yeah, for me. Oh, and lemon bars. Ooh, yeah. I love lemon bars. Yeah. And the lemon bars, and those those are my favorites. favorites. But if yeah. somebody called you up or, you know, face said something on Facebook about, could you make me um, lemon bars and chocolate chip cookies, you would do that for them? Mm -hmm. Okay, so it just doesn't have to be your crazy cakes. Mm -mm. Okay. No, I mean, I whatever, whatever you ask for. If you want a banana pudding cake, you're going to get a banana pudding Ooh. cake. Ooh. 
If you want a key lime cake, you're gonna get a key lime cake. If you want a strawberry cake, you're gonna get a strawberry cake. I mean, it's whatever you want. If you want a butter pecan cake, you're gonna get a butter pecan cake. Okay. I mean, so it's what is whatever you, whatever you ask okay. for. Well, tell the listeners right now where they can get your food items besides contacting you on Facebook. Where in the community do you have your items? At Red's Grub Shack. And where is that? In Grantville. <laughs> and what are their hours? <laughs> um, I know he's closed on Sundays and Mondays, but he's open uh, on Tuesday through Tuesdays through Saturdays, I think from 11 to nine something okay and he has like he that. has other stuff oh yeah he going. has other good food too yeah okay yeah. like if you wanted lunch or dinner does he do breakfast no not yet okay not yet. okay we need some good breakfast places you know i mean brunch i would love to have a nice place to go for brunch and that's just me personally linda kirkpatrick here <laughs> but um <laughs> Let's <laughs> hint, hint, hint. <laughs> Let's talk about your faith and what that means to you in your journey. Oh, it means a lot. It means a lot. Um, you have to love others as Christ loves us. And I, I tell people all the time, this walk is not easy. But the rewards of it is so worth it. Yeah. Well, you know, a lot of people just don't trust God, in my opinion, enough. <clears throat> Sometimes, you know, they they just say, well, you know what? If he loves me, then why is this happening? Well, it's not his fault. It's happening. And you just have to have that faith and trust in him. And I know in my life, if he wasn't in my life, I don't know what I do and um yeah. you know and, and you you know your faith and trust has brought you your journey it's from Nashville me here. Yeah. and now you're in Moreland and you're doing Quindora's box mm -hmm. and I'm going to give you how you can get a hold of her she has cakes oh candies mm -hmm. ooh let's talk about some of your candies <laughs> fudge oh <laughs> fudge mm -hmm. And sometimes I do, sometimes I do lollipops, okay. but I can do fudge and stuff like that. If I asked you to do 25 lollipops for our use when we have our meeting, how far of a notice would you have to have for that? I would like to give... At least some days to a week's notice. Okay. Okay. I mean, some stuff, every once in a blue moon, depends on what's going on and what it is. I might can do something real fast. But other than that, I, I would love You'd lead to a have notice because I have other stuff going on. So it's, it's only right and out of respect to right. give a notice. Okay. And then... Would I need to pick them up? Because I'm thinking about our meetings. Or could you bring them to us? Yeah, because if I have to deliver, depending on how far it's going to be a delivery. Thing. Well, it's 29 Madras Park. How far is it? I don't know, about 10 miles. Do you mm. know where um, Heritage School is? Wesley Woods? My husband might know, but I have no idea. Okay, that's okay. Anyway, that's just a thought on me. That's just my personal <laughs> conversation here, sitting in here. Um, but anyway, Quin <laughs> look up Quindora's box, and I'm going to spell that. Q-U-E-N-D-O-R-A apostrophe S box on Facebook. Mm -hmm. You can uh, email Quindora's box at gmail.com. Mm -hmm. You can call Quinn Roscoe at 770-334-0459. You can get cakes, cookies, lollipops, cupcakes, cheesecakes, and food. Mm -hmm. uh, her stuff is all delicious, and it is not outrageously priced. You're getting great food at a great bargain. Mm -hmm. um, let me think. 
Family Patterns Matter is having a kids' fashion show and charity events. The proceeds benefit Family Patterns Matter. It's September 17th, 2023, 2 p.m. at Greenville Street Park. If you don't know who or what Family Patterns Matter does, um, I would tell you to visit our website, but it is under construction right now. But you can go to Family Patterns on Facebook. And you can see us, you can contact us at 404-944-8024. If you want to be a vendor at this event, call Christy at 770-436-2356. If you're joining us for this great day of youth and families and what we do, I would suggest bringing a towel to sit on or a chair and come prepared for a wonderful show, wonderful food, wonderful vendors for a wonderful cause, and that is our youth in our community. This is Linda Kirkpatrick sitting in for Margie Conway, who let me know at very short notice about her tooth, but thank you so much, Margie. We all love you, and hopefully you will be back next week. And we appreciate you. Tonight she is having an event at her Creative Heart Studio. Uh, I believe it's 1 Bullsboro Drive. And it's a, sh- I can't say this right. Charcuterie. So, charcuterie event. We would love to see lots of you there because it's fun ladies night and Margie is incredible. Again, Linda Kirkpatrick with Family Patterns Matter. You have been tuned in to Heart to Heart Radio, presented by Connecting Hearts Network, connecting women to resources and one another. Located at 3 Bullsboro Drive here in Noonan. Tune in next week for another episode of Heart to Heart Radio with Margie Conway. Some people take the straight path in life, but at Arizona State University, we respect your twists and turns. They make our online students more driven to excel in their professional lives. That's why our personalized suite of services empowers you with innovative resources and staff that sticks with you. Make your next turn with one of our 300-plus programs at ASU, a top 10 university for online bachelor's programs. Tap to learn more or visit us at asuonline.asu.edu. Attention Kroger shoppers. Did you know there's a world of innovative services and patient care right in store? It's where an award-winning pharmacy and nationally recognized care come together. Connect with one of our licensed pharmacists today at your local Kroger and experience the care you and your family deserve. Kroger Health, a world of care is in store. Services and availability vary by location. Age and other restrictions may apply. For coverage, consult your health insurance company. Visit the pharmacy or our site for details.